and I was going shopping for a swimsuit. A trip to the mall turns into a living nightmare. I noticed that like a man's shoe was coming out from under the dressing room stall that was directly next to mine. 27 year old Candace Bren had to do a double take in the dressing room. I could see a reflective like piece on his shoe. Turns out it was a camera lens. She screamed for help and flung open the door. I'm like, what is that on your shoe? What are you doing? And her story of unwanted exposure, just one of many. Fort Myers attorney Scott Goldberg is representing a Minnesota family of 15 victimized on Fort Myers Beach. It was very indiscriminate. It didn't matter if it was a five-year-old baby in my, or it was a, a 70-year-old man or woman. They were secretly recorded inside a vacation home two years ago. They were in bathrooms, bedrooms, changing rooms. The property manager who planted the cameras is spending four years in prison. And if he wasn't so perverted and had to see the pictures every day, uh, they may not have ever caught him. Turns out, new technology is making it easy for lawyers to get away with this disgusting crime. They're made to be hidden um, right in front of you. Cameras are smaller and cheaper. And you can go online and there's tons of these cameras all over. But this private investigator tells NBC2 that you can protect yourself with gadgets like the Spy Finder. They're made to uh, recognize the lens of the camera, so if you're using it to scan a room, it'll give you a reflection back if a camera lens is detected. Take a look at this clock radio. Looks pretty standard, right? Nowhere on this box does it say that there is a hidden camera inside. But when I take my spy finder, scan the bottom of it, see that red dot? That's a camera. We took the spy finder to more than a dozen public places, bidding rooms, restrooms, the changing room, retail stores, parks, and even beaches. We did not find any cameras, but Candace Bren says she's living proof. I've seen videos I've gone online to try and find. They're out there. If maybe I'm online. They have it on porn websites. And while technology continues to advance. I don't think there's more sick people out there. Goldberg says the laws regulating its use have not. I just think there's more ways for the sick people to um, get the uh, information that they want to use. In the meantime, keep your eyes open and your guard up. I don't use the dressing rooms anymore. For the NBC2 Investigators, I'm Rachel Polanski.